Charlie, hold it up. <laughs> Couldn't have picked a better day for it, could you? Go away. Hello again. I didn't expect to see you here. Oh, well, I didn't expect to see me here. And I didn't expect to see me here either. <laughs> I was supposed to be down at Leisure playing in a quib championship. Still of that, he drags me all the way out to bloody Berkshire. Oh, cheers, darling. Thank you, I needed that. Mmm. Mmm. It's lovely. <laughs> Listen, let me explain what happened, right? Well, I was uh, tidying up the flat, and guess what I found in one of the wardrobes, eh? <laughs> Only his evening suit. Well, I thought to myself, he's left it behind. He can't go to dinner dressed like that. So I had no option but to drive it down here. Oh, I see. Well, that was very nice of you, wasn't it, Rodney? Yeah. Daddy! You bloody liar. I packed my evening suit. I packed it my... I... I packed it myself personally. I couldn't have done, Rodney, because I had to get back in a wardrobe. Because you took it out of my suitcase after I packed it. Now, why would I want to do a thing like that, eh? So as you could bloody well come down here. No, I didn't. Daddy, this is Rodney's brother, Derek Trotter. Derek, I'd like you to meet my father. No introductions necessary. I recognise your photograph from a sporting lawyer. <laughs> Tell me, how's uh, Amson Sampson? Has he got over that fat rock sprain yet? Uh, yes, he's doing very nicely, thank you. Ah, good. And what about the derby next year? You know, will he be trying? Trying? <laughs> Mr. Trotter, it's a derby. Everyone will be trying. Ah, good. <laughs> as long as they where to put my money, your grace. <laughs> <laughs> now, Victoria tells me you've driven all the way down from London with uh, Rodney's dinner jacket. That's jolly decent of you. You must be exhausted. Well, I am cream crackered, your grace. But... <laughs> Don't worry, I'll just mooch around here until I get me strength up for the journey back. Yes, we'll do. Make yourself at home, won't you? And if you're around later, I'm sure Cook will provide you with something to eat. Oh, stay for dinner. Ah, oh, well, pas de deux. <laughs> and as luck would have it, as I was getting Rodney's evening suit out of the wardrobe, mine came along with it. So I've got all my gear here. <laughs> a dinner, yes. Patterson, will you set another place of dinner tonight, please? For this gentleman? Yes, Patterson. Of course, Your Grace. Well, that's very civil of you. Thank you very much. Oh. <clears throat> Would you mind if uh, I had a pot shot? Uh, no, no, of course not. Uh, Patterson, can I have a gun for Mr. Trotter, please? No need, no need, sir. I have brought my own weapon. <laughs> Would you like these, sir? No, I can't listen to music while I'm shooting. <laughs> <clears throat> Right, ready when you are, John. Do you mean Paul? Oh, sorry, Paul. In your own time, my son. <laughs> I'll be all right when I get me eye in. <laughs> Oi, where did you get that gun from? Iggy Higgins. Iggy Higgins robs banks. <laughs> no. But it's Saturday. 